international tour driving across the country. Are they like busting myths live or like what are they actually doing on the tour? They, is it just like a speaking tour? Well, it is um, uh, Adam yeah. Savage and Jamie Heineman are doing the tour. So it's the two of them. And I know that with, I mean, what I've seen Adam do at Bootstock, like seeing. Just sort of telling stories. Well, and singing I Will Survive in the Voice of Gollum. Like it's up in the air. <laughs> yeah. which, is a, which is a solid, I, I have heard that. It, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Nice. I'd be uh, interested to see what Jamie would have to say too. I know. Just, just stand to be stoic. I think that there's some of the uh, the folks that were the, the promoter that have worked on uh, other shows like Penn and Teller tours. I think are involved, which I actually I think there's a good comparison between the Adam and Jamie and the Penn and Teller. Yep, there's definitely. Except the big one is the quiet one. In the, in they could go together and it could be myths and magic. Ooh. Well, they're both. I, I mean, they're both, they they travel in the same kind of circles too, with debunking things and so forth. Exactly. Yeah, I think pretty. I think every episode of Tell a Lie has had one story that I've seen on MythBusters. That has been related to MythBusters. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, I'm submitting that. All right, what's your fact? Come on. No, I don't. Oh yeah, to. bring it on. Got it. I don't. Well, I don't know. Let me. I I need the internet. It can be anything. Yeah. Right. You know, everybody knows lots of facts. It doesn't have to be a good fact. It could be about you. It could be about someone you know. Yeah. Um, it could be about that horrible thing they put in you. Yeah. I, I, I was, no, I can't say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what can I say? One of our facts is that, uh, um. One of our facts is that Monty Cook could, could uh, recite all of Ghostbusters start to finish. Yeah. Really? Monty yeah. Cook can recite yeah. all of Ghostbusters. I'm really so pissed I missed that. And, and I'm then, sorry. Was it was it Ernie? Also yeah. Had a, Ernie had a, had another Ghostbuster. Yeah. Ernie, yeah. Slimer's original name was Onion Head. Yeah. I'm interested to know if Mikey really? will also be Ghostbusters related. Yeah. Or so we've got two we've got two power grand facts and two, two Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters facts. Yeah. Neither of which are about animals, unless Slimer is an animal. But it, if you if you think about in the you know this this. The area we're trying to ask questions is, is anything in the entire world or universe. Yeah. Okay, but you, I mean, you gotta understand here that the people who are watching this, and in this room even, like, it's hard to find facts that you don't already know. Like, Peter Sagal was like, the, where'd Mario's name come from? And I, I didn't know that. Really? But, you know, mm. there's, the internet is in this room. A lot of pressure. Okay, I'm you sorry. You have no access to it because you're driving the bus. I know. Exactly. That's why we asked. And you're not allowed to stop driving the bus until you give us a fact. So. <laughs> and don't play the phone because that's dangerous. Oh. Oh. Did you see that? Was that yeah. scary? On the end of your seat, <laughs> entertainment here, folks. Oh god. Dear Doctor Liz, can you drive the Myth Bus and tell us how it relates to driving the, the desert real bus? bus? Yeah. Oh, I hope so. I don't know if they'll let me drive the bus, especially if they're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're doing perfect. You're on the road. If we on the wrong side. If we take the all facts are about animals fact into account, then Desert Bus just proved that pomegranates and Ghostbusters are animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ghostbusters, I guess, would be animals. They're humans. They're people. Yeah. I believe there's a song about how people are animals too. That pomegranates, mean... however, I believe is stretching the definition. <coughs> I, you know, this chat is, is just crazy. I'll look over here and I'll see something. I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. Lands of pen. Haven't horrible. you been here for the last couple you of days? I know, but I've been upstairs <laughs> working away. Of course it doesn't make sense. Lands of pen, we had a we had a checkpoint story called that like months ago. What? Yeah. <laughs> we had a, we had we had a checkpoint story and the title looks like a Skyrim job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was actually it was <laughs> well, we, were, we were talking we were trying to figure out name like story names and I was like Guy room job? And then like we're like, so no, bad. we must have done that before. Yeah. We must have, we must, it's like, we, we totally called some people that before. Yeah, but we and hadn't. We hadn't. We were like, yes, it's perfect. <laughs> Success. Graham, somebody keeps asking, who's the coolest person you've ever met? Who? Who is asking? Uh, Zedric's asking Graham, who's the coolest person he has ever met? Oh, Jeez. That's really yeah, You've hard. met a lot of people. That's tough. I was about to say, Liz is up there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh goodness. That's I mean, my fact. Graham I mean, said that I'm the most awesome person he's ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he gets entered into the permanent record now. I'll take, I'll take that to Kathleen, Joe. Excellent. Um, I don't know. I mean, when we when we did the those two Woodstock dates, the there two was a lot of room. pretty awesome people there. Isn't yeah, that just, just like chilling in the back room with, uh, with like Will Adam Weed and Adam Savage. Savage. Yeah, yeah. Like that was uh, that Matt was, Fraction. Getting yeah. to getting to play with Matt with Adam Savage's iPad before they were actually. Uh, 
Oh, out that's in Canada. Sweet. That yeah, because we didn't have iPads yet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so we like we took. We're like, can we see your like, iPad? Well, I'm on MythBusters, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. iPad. Hang on. Hmm? Oh, Canada. Yeah. That's, um, um, that's pretty awesome. Who else have I actually? Bus met? game just kind of turns off. It does like. I don't know why it does that. Is it before we make an update? You said like start again. Yeah. Mike, did Mike Robles say Mike Robles? Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. Mike Robles is... It's like, it's like he's okay. Nobody paying attention he's okay. Let's just turn this off. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, there's the people wizards, obviously. obviously. I mean, there's the people I've met at conventions. You know, like, the one of the nicest dudes I've ever met? Hmm. Marshall. Marshall yeah. is, like, the nicest dude I've ever met in my life. <laughs> like, he's way too, way too nice. He's Marshall's like no. the... Super nice dude. So and he plays magic, so... Graham, yo, could you check uh, challenge 912? It's supposedly about Stephen Fry. And the person is obviously in the chat right now. This is mm. Tally. Paul yeah. can read out number two on this link. Mm. All right, let's find out. If Paul can't do it while I'm in chat, then maybe Graham. Let's well, since out. both of you are here right now, it might. Do some challenges. Oh, we're not in front of you. We're looking into mm. some challenges. <laughs> uh oh. Did you get those emails? Yes, surprise! I did finally. Surprise, Kathleen! Hi. Wait, what am I doing? Nothing, nothing. I think Kathleen, Just being surprising? You should tell them what you have been doing, because we've been adding more exciting stuff. Oh. Yes, they're what? working hard up there. Yes, I've been preparing. Yeah, I've been I've been stacking the odds in my favor for my shift. How dare you? How dare I? Because I've been sort of going through. We got a wonderful shipment of Surly Amy necklaces today from Surly so Ramix. So pretty. And I was like, they're so nice. We're going to do them as a giveaway during my shift. Liz, Liz let me stare at hers last night. I was sort of like, I'm, I'm sort of checking out your boobs, but no, really, I'm just looking at the necklace. It's beautiful. It's oh, really the Angry cool. Birds one? Oh, the Angry Birds one. the driver cam so you can maybe awesome. get a chance or, to see it there, I can James. take it off, or you James? can... Sorry? Driver cam? I don't know. Can, can you see my necklace? It's Angry Birds. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's, a little it's very cool. You were wearing a TARDIS one yesterday, weren't you? Yeah. 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 Oh man, Several. there's a TARDIS one. General Michi, that's We're in a live auction, Kathleen. it's gorgeous. Yeah. And Kathleen has a whole <laughs> bunch that she's just going to give away during her shift. <laughs> I will. No. Yeah, you have time for a nap before toast. We're not doing toasting until like 10-ish p.m. Oh, tonight. Please, where is the real bus? Yeah. I'm on the route to Vegas, about 40 miles outside Phoenix, 15 miles short of Wickenburg. They've passed Wickenburg. They're north. They're, they're definitely north uh, uh, west of that. They are really close to Vegas They're now. past King... Kingston? What's yeah. the town called? No, it wasn't Kingston. They're someone someone tell Someone tell Psycho Dice, in case they aren't watching, in case they're only able to read the chat, tell them where they are. They it's, were just in WikiDub, the duff that anyone can edit. Yes, ah. they were just in wiki <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Um, I see that OG has said that he's already don he's put in a challenge for Operation Infinite Caramel Dancing. That's oh awesome. I will oh be doing God, no. I will be doing that during right my now. shift Kingman. until you collapse. Kingman. Sorry, Pyrodice. I'm, I'm out. I don't know if you'll be able to catch them. Kathleen. Yes. Are you just oh, caramel dancing? I, I, feel, I, I really think makes it makes it five times. Yes. Yeah, yes. I believe that triggers it. I did that so we could trigger the achievement, actually. <laughs> it probably happened last night during the haka, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. By the way, complete fake out on that haka. Thank you. Good job. I don't know who you're saying Ian to. He's not here. Oh, somebody's asking about using what? Tilt he to control the um, he's eating a bus sandwich on upstairs. the iPad. Yeah. Graham. Mm -hmm. Somebody just asked about, do you have to use Tilt to control the bus nice. on the iPad game That's because they're in a wheelchair? And wasn't sure if they could do it, uh, but you, um, you it, is, yes. it is still tilt control. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's Ian. We, the we have achieved critical mass. <laughs> oh, Matt is here. Oh, Matt's here. Um, we also Super. have uh, the dude who crashed the bus last night. Good. Oh, <laughs> shame. He doesn't even know what he did yet. Oh, shame on you. Hey, Matt. You. How was your run? Yeah, well, that's true. Right. Right. Uh, Toffee's Toffee shop. I also have something to announce that my friend Matthew, uh, all out of his own pocket, uh, met Kate Beaton and asked her to personalize a new copy of her book Harka Vagrant to Desert Bus. So we're going to be auctioning that during my shift. Uh, and I'm just going to make sure that Matt can watch when we do it. But Matt. Uh, <laughs> He was, was wonderful and generous, so we're going to have an autographed Murray copy of... Different Matt. Her, Matthew Murray. Yeah, not, not our Matt. Yes. What's going to happen? Matt, Matt Wiggins <laughs> cool would not Matt. do anything there's, like that. There's actually... I would not do anything like that. So, what? if there's, you want... There's another oh. very special... A very special challenge for you, Matt. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's that? Things to look forward to for <laughs> Kathleen's shift. There's good it's stuff start, It is... No, no, don't, don't get your laptop out. This is a, this is <laughs> don't a challenge. Don't get comfortable. It starts with this card here. Oh, yeah, that's right.
Read it out. Read it out. Alright. Matt, the chat wants to send you on a treasure hunt. Follow the clues to claim your prize. Look under the cobble block. Oh. What? Ooh, this is exciting! Chat, what a good idea! Oh. Treasure Hi, hunt! Chad. Treasure hunt! hunt. Hey. I'm gonna end up club during this treasure hunt. What? <laughs> Don't you trust the chats? <laughs> Morgan's butt conceals a clue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> quickly, quickly! Liz is Morgan's, butt, actually, Liz is Morgan's butt conceals more than one cute clue, yeah. but. <laughs> it's actually As to weird. what, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that treasure hunt is really what we're uh, what we're endeavoring to find. Depends on what you define as treasure. Uh, turn your eyes to the skies. Right here. Oh. I look straight oh. up. Ah. Do we have some sort of camera? It's a club. Yeah, we can. It's a club attached to the boom. I saw that myself. You know what? What? I've had a club on me to counter with every moment. Yeah. Of every day I've been here so far. Yeah. Except right now. Except right now. <laughs> also, who do you counter? I counter the chat. All of you. <laughs> every single one of you go to your local Technically, grocery Alex store set and get that some up, clubs. But he set it up like six hours ago. Okay. I need or to more than that. Snip it down like You're ten all hours you. ago. I've got something in my pocket here. Of it course was, you do. It was pretty cute. Graham came in and was like, what yeah. did I just get clubbed? Yeah, I was what like, did I just really club myself by seeing that? <laughs> I actually had to codify the rules of clubbing them. Yeah, because nice. the thing is, I wasn't sure, because I saw it, and then I told Ian about it. I was like, there's a club up there. Did I just club myself? And then... We, uh, Corey wasn't sure if I'd club myself by seeing it, or if I had clubbed Ian by drawing his attention the, to it. I, it's strictly speaking, I think it's more... You have to like accept it. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I think that there there is some case to be made for you have to be looking for something. Yeah. Like, if you look up and you see it, then you just saw it. Right. But if you if you're like, hey, look up there. There's a treat for you. And then you, the person looks up there. All right. Yeah. I saw it earlier too, but I didn't want to Someone in the anything. chat says, "No, I actually am prepped with a club to counter you." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. chat. Oh yeah, it's been there a room. It's been there for hours. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's it nice and room temperature. Nice oh no, Yay. that's the worst kind. Heat rises. Cheers. I would leave that open. Cheers. The worst ones are. Would, oh, oh, that's oh. Cool. Don't get it on the TV, Matt. So. Is it a little one? Oh. Also, I hear you crashed the bus last night. Yeah. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. So they say. Why would you do that? <laughs> um, I'm Ganondorf. Yeah. Excellent. We've asked you to move that button that crashes the bus away from your alarm clock yeah. for five years. Pour one out your homies there? Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, Paul. I'd like to see Alex do it that bad. What? He's, He's gone. just sit there and yeah. complain. No. Once again, thank you to Jimmy for England for Brad bringing me that amazing. case of tiny club. Paul's yes. back. Yes. Paul. Best souvenir what? ever. Can you read this uh, passage from oh, Stephen good. Fry? I guess I could. All right. Yeah. Johnny? That yes. stuff is tremendously awful at room temperature. What happened to that card that, that Morgan and I both sat on? You might want to... Back in here. Yeah. Save that. Mm, okay, yes. so Will is... Will is theoretically GDA. Where's your alarm clock? Yeah. Will says he's sorry. Because we only got hours till 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday day right now, we would have to be. I calculated... Hey, Crows. Yeah. There's, There's a challenge here for 60 bucks. Yeah. It says Redux. For crows to jump up and down for ten minutes chanting pony glue, pony glue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I said I would do it for six uh, All right, that's supposed to be actually have a cigarette. And too, so once Paul has done this challenge, uh, Reed is available to, he's got the G's back. Sweet. So. All right. Uh, I have an old empty pack, but that's about it. Something. Uh, here, use the. Here, use, use this. Okay. Use the phone. All right. This is, I, I haven't heard this, I assume this is from Bitter Fry and Laurie. It is, yeah. 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 Right. Hello, I'd like to tell you about this cigarette case. It used to belong to my god grandfather on my parents' side. <laughs> he was given it by his god niece as a kind of lost virginity present, really. He took it with him to Flanders in 1912 when he went there on holiday. And then he took it again in 1915 when he had to fight in the war. <laughs> now, what grandfather used to do is to keep cigarettes in it, like this. And if he wanted one, he would simply take it out, smoke it, and then close the case again. He used to keep the cigarette case here, in his breast, in 